Well hello glorious people of the interwebs and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today we're going to be going over the best way to farm up treasure maps and get items in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. I hope you all enjoy it. We're going to get straight into this. Now we're currently in Strawberry at the Welcome Center. Now this is going to be part of this. This is how you're going to get some items that are incredibly useful very, very quickly. Now this all ties into the method, so I hope you guys all enjoy this, and um, hopefully you get some treasure maps, able to get a lot of experience, as well as money from doing this, and potentially gold bars. Now there's going to be a bunch of stuff in this particular place that you can loot. You're going to be able to get horse revivers, even ammo that you can't unlock until level 31 which is going to be rifle ammo express and that's going to come in very handy for both killing people and hunting so all of this is going to be extremely useful now there's a chest right here that you can loot and you might find things like brandy or tonics and stuff in here right now we've got fine brandy and it looks like that might be bitters or is that guarma rum okay guarma rum bitters is a little bit of a smaller bottle this is just going to be one stop that you're going to make in your rounds of doing this method. And let's see here. All of this stuff in here is going to be looted. You might find jewelry in here. Let's see, there's nothing in that... Per oh, we gotta search the drawer though as well. There we go. Search drawer. Come on, baby. There's bitters right there. I can see them. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's hair tonic. Okay. But we can't actually grow our hair out. I wonder if that's going to be a thing that's going to be available once the, um, you know, Red Dead Redemption 2 Online is fully released. Let's go ahead and check all these drawers here. Now, what we're going to be doing is basically running through a certain path to find hideouts and ambushes. This is going to come in very handy for farming up treasure maps because you can get them from both ambushes and hideouts from looting enemies. So just keep that in mind and make sure every time you run into one of these that you loot all of the enemies. I haven't gotten one from a leader, but I have gotten a treasure map from the enemy ambushes. So as long as you loot everybody, you stand a good chance of getting a treasure map, which is going to yield you gold bars and quite a bit of money as well. Now let's see here. What do we got right there? Potent snake oil. Going to be great for Deadeye. There we go. Now the horse revivers are going to be particularly useful because they are quite expensive. Being able to revive your horse is obviously very, very handy. There's going to be another chest in here, and this is going to have the most stuff in it. So let's see what we got here. We got rifle cartridges express, which you can't even unlock until level 31. So you'll be able to get those right off the bat in the beginning of the game. We got gun oil, another handy expensive items. Horse stimulant, which is incredibly useful. And let's see here. Where is the horse reviver going to be? And it seems like every single time you go in here, it's going to be exactly the same items. Right, so we got premium cigarettes right there, which we can sell. But fortunately, that, that you can't like collect the cards and stuff in the online mode. We've got more potent bitters. Another very handy item. And moonshine. Obviously going to come in handy. There we go. Now you can also search over here and is there anything in this one there we go another cigar search these two drawers and opened rifle cartridges so that's going to be everything that you can loot from this house now that we've done that we're going to head down to our horse and we're going to run a certain path which is going to be filled with ambushes and hideouts now, you can do this in a couple different ways, but once we go up to our map, basically what we're going to want to do is there's going to be a hideout here and here. So you can basic, you can path from, if you stop at Strawberry, basically the whole path is going to be from here, down here, along here. There's going to be an ambush right about here, and you run down this way, down through here. There's going to be another hideout here and an ambush here. Once you do that, you're going to stop here and you're going to reload free roam. And you're going to run back up through here into Strawberry and then back through here, hit the ambush if it's there, this hideout if it's there, and then this hideout. And you basically do this back and forth and it's a really good route to farm. Now just remember when you're running through this path to the north, this is a cougar territory area. So that's something you're going to want to pay attention to. There's a cougar actually right over there. Thankfully it's not coming for me. And another thing you're going to want to pay attention to is where people are on the map. 
If you open your map once you load the free room and check out where people are, other players, um, you'll be able to tell which part of the maps you shouldn't bother going to, which means people are probably farming that area, have gotten ambushed, or have taken out the hideouts already, so it might not be worth your time to head up to those particular areas. This is where the ambush, the first ambush, will usually be. We didn't get one this time, and there's going to be a hideout over here in this lavender valley. Now, unfortunately, we ran this path, and there were no ambushes or hideouts up here. But what we're going to do is we're just going to get a little bit farther ahead of that one hideout all the way up here. And you'll see that it's down here, and we want to basically reload right in this area. And then we're going to run from here all the way back down, hit all of the points where hideouts and um, ambushes are going to be, hit strawberry, and then head down here, and then reload over down here near Blackwater. Now I found another hideout finally now. There are two Gatling guns at this particular location, so you just want to keep that in mind. Hopefully we'll get another treasure map. Now, the treasure maps from people here are very rare, so just keep that in mind. It might take a while before you get one, but if you're going to be farming them up this way, this is probably one of the best ways to do it. I wish I had cleaned my weapon. I should need to use some of that gun oil we got and actually make some good use of it. Oh boy. I just realized that this weapon here is completely dirty. We're going to use our handgun here. Obviously, I've been doing a lot of farming recently, and that farming adds up. It seems like your weapons degrade a lot faster in online than they did in single player. Alright, so that's the Gatling gun I was talking about. Be able to get him down the next shot. Or I could miss. There we go. Now there's another one down on the bottom right. Can I shoot through that? No. Now once you've cleared out the area, you don't have to... Um, you don't have to spare this guy. If you want the positive honor for it, you can if you so desire. But I'm just going to kill him. Sometimes he comes back and tries to kill you if you spare him, and I don't have the energy for that. Now you get quite a bit of XP for clearing the bandits as well as obviously just killing them all. Now we just need to loot them all. Now you don't get a lot of money from each bandit, but you can get ammo, silver buckles, basically like wedding rings and stuff like that. Uh, potent bitters, gun oil, um, any of the tonics really you can get from these guys. So it's not just searching for treasure maps. It is going to be a good way to farm up tonics. And obviously there's quite a few different routes you could go. This one right now is my favorite. But if you guys have any other routes you think might have more hideouts and ambushes, feel free to let me know in the comments below because sharing is caring and informing the community can be very helpful. And to improve the efficiency of this, you're definitely going to want to make sure to hunt at the same time. Obviously, you're going to take down anything it flies, it dies, because quite a few of these are going to be able to give you a lot of stuff like this golden eagle right here. Also, make sure to park your horse on anything that you're skinning or plucking. It will make it go a lot faster. Of course, I always forget when I'm recording to show it off. I've mentioned it a few times in videos, um, but it's always good to give a reminder. Now... Those right there, that's about $3 in feathers. You can stow this too. Just make sure to sell it at the Butcher and Strawberry before you uh, reload the game. So you'll be able to optimize this a little bit better by hunting. Now I have no idea how long it takes to get a treasure map. It is completely up to RNG. So maybe sacrifice a goat to RNGesus and maybe you'll have a little bit more luck. But if you are looking to farm treasure maps and hideouts, this so far, from what I've been able to find, is the most efficient way to be farming them up. And you can get bucks, beavers, eagles, rabbits, pretty much anything you can kill will net you a lot of XP and you'll be able to sell it for a lot of money. Hunting right now is the most efficient way to basically farm up money and experience. Um, but being able to add on to that by finding treasure maps, you can also get bear skins and cougar carcasses and, uh, and fur and stuff like that. So make sure to capitalize on farming while doing this. Man, they really need to fix the issue with things despawning. Interestingly enough, I was able to get another treasure map in the same spot where I got the first one during the live stream when I started testing out this method. Now, I think I got killed as I was looting the person and everybody else like disappeared and 
even the rest of the bandits disappeared, which is really interesting. It seems to be an issue with uh, the beta in general. Things just despawning. This is a general issue with NPCs, animals, and stuff like that. Hopefully it gets sorted out. But regardless, we need to see how much we get from one of these. So we've got a treasure map here. This is the East Watson's treasure map. A map leading to treasure. Let's see where it heads. Um, what the hell was that? Did my treasure map just break? Okay. Whew. Got a little nervous there. I was about to be real mad. I was like, great, did the whole thing glitch out on me? Oh, wow, this is like way out there. Okay. So, this huge, huge circle. Now, if you guys haven't farmed up a lot of these treasures... Uh, an easy way to find them is pretty much just wander throughout it and um, just wait for your controller to start vibrating, and that means you're close. So we're getting close to our treasure here. The controller just started vibrating, but I am curious if perhaps uh, treasure maps drop a little bit more often from ambushes rather than hideouts. Uh, the two treasure maps that I've gotten so far have come specifically from ambushes. Now, I do know that you can get them from from hideouts i've had plenty of people in the community message me that that's where they've got them from um, but i'd love to know if you guys got a treasure map where did you get it from that way i can maybe kind of compile some information maybe make an even better tutorial why is it getting so dark all of a sudden i can't see anything oh my goodness uh, but a, a, a little bit better way of farming these up although you are going to be able to hit three hideouts and two ambushes potentially on this route well you're not gonna hit them all at once but you pass through three locations for it is that bear marks on that tree or is that one of the trees that get hit by lightning it's gonna be in this little tunnel i never even knew there was like this little cave here what is this oh it's definitely gonna be in here is this in single player too i've never been in here before Got dead stuff around it. Wow, I've been, I, just, I can't believe I've never seen this before. Interesting. How much money? No wonder I couldn't find it. I was up top. What are we going to get, though? Now, I've gotten the level up ones because you get one every five levels. So 0.61 gold bars, shotgun shells, and $102.61. That's not too bad. Um... It's definitely, if you're just farming up treasure maps this way, it's definitely not as lucrative as just hunting. But you're getting gold bars from it, which is really nice. And if you're coupling getting the, you know, the stuff from the Welcome Center in Strawberry, you're farming up animals at the same time and selling their parts and skins and carcasses and farming up the treasure maps. This may very be, very may, what the hell is there? Is a bear here? I hear you, bear. Making me get all crazy. You stay your bare ass over there. Oh, shit. Bear, die. Thank you. This is... That's the second bear I found in the same spot. This is ridiculous. Um, but coupling all of these things together, it might be the best way to spend your time farming. Because you'll be able to get XP, money, gold bars. Oh, what the hell? This, the end of this episode is, my horse is dead. Thank God I got those horse revivers. They're only $9 a piece if you buy them from the store. So thank God I found an easy way to farm those up. And thank you to Lars Peterson. He is actually the one that informed me about this welcome center thing in Strawberry. So thank you so much, Lars Peterson. And he's actually the one that kind of got me into... Well, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have started experimenting. There goes my horse snack again. Experimenting with this particular method. <laughs> Life is terrible right now. This is an absolute disaster. I'm going to end the episode here before my horse dies again. I'll see you all in the next one.